All right. Uh, welcome, everyone. We're here at Gallery W, in Montmartre, Paris, and this is my exposition entitled Respectfully Yours, which is primarily homage paintings, but not necessarily all homage paintings, but it's a lot of the subject that I'm working with. Right here is a painting entitled Watch Him Swim. It's a painting that is about how we are a society of uh, survival of the fittest and this sort of mentality how we watch one another to survive and this is watching him swim as he grasps for air with his mask and etc but it's a painting. Okay this is a particular painting that I call Trauma by Beauty and it is about the idea of being traumatized by beauty itself. Normally we understand trauma, traumatization by violence or acts of aggression. Anything that involves the psyche to expand itself beyond a normal limit is sort of traumatic, and that can be beauty as well. This particular painting is called The Ring of Fire. It's an homage to Matisse. His painting was called The Music, and I like it a lot. Okay, this painting is an homage to Leonardo da Vinci. It's uh, my version, well, almost a copy of his Bacchus. And uh, that's it. So this particular painting is a uh, New York Yankees fan. It's an homage to Basquiat, King of Art group himself. And, uh, voila. In this painting, this is called Birthday Party at Julian's House. That'd be Julian's novel, and this is an homage to him. This is his salon living room, which I've never been in, and I don't know him, but I found and discovered uh, his salon in an uh, architectural design magazine. They featured his home in it, and in his home, he has a Picasso in one of his works, and there we go. In this painting, I understand uh, a bit of my role as an artist is that is to aid people with their personal relationships with their own inner dialogue. And in doing so, I show that by putting a dog on top of my head. Uh, and the dog is to symbol it is man's best friend, and we'd like our consciousness to be like man's best friend, a good dog, watchful, persistent, friendly, emotional, and always there for you. We want our thinking to be like that. This painting is called Cupcake Girl. Uh, there's a new cupcake shop down the street and I go in there for cupcakes. So I did a small painting of a cupcake. It really didn't work so good. So I cut it out and pasted it in this painting, which is my friend Charlotte. Here we have a, a copy of a, my version of a Picasso self-portrait he did in uh, Montmartre in 19... Nine, when he was a young artist here, and uh, I've entitled it uh, Raw Picasso Going Down in History for Iggy Pop. I've homaged it to him because uh, I was painting while that song was on. <laughs> and here we have an obvious homage to Velázquez Venus, goddess of beauty. Without it, we are nothing. Beauty, the precept to all knowledge and interest to intellect. Without beauty, we were really lost. <laughs> and this is my version of his. And I finished it on January 11, 2011. That'd be 11111. And here we have an, another homage to Velasquez on plexiglass. Plexiglass is a complete reverse process of painting where everything is backwards and you start with the foreground first, and it's all reversed, it's a lot of fun, and, and the colors are real luminescent, and I'm able to get in and do a lot of fun stuff with the colors and paint here and collaging, and it's all behind, behind the uh, plexiglass. Mm -hmm. um, this is another homage to Matisse. I've discovered that I'm really, really, really fond, of, and I love Matisse a lot, a lot more than I realized, and after doing this show, I really, really appreciate Matisse more than ever. And this is an homage to him on plexiglass with a photograph of, I don't know who, I found the, the, the affiche, the advertisement in the street, I just put her in there, so I suspect one day she may come up to me and say, hey, that's me, but it's an homage to Matisse. <clears throat> in this particular painting, this is an homage to Gustave Courbet, 
I had the great honor to uh, loan my painting to the Museum d'Orsay while his was in the Louvre. Um, I changed the cultures a little bit, I brightened it up, and now we have Miami Beach Pussy Power. Yeah. I'd just like to add uh, as a special note of interest that part of the work involved going to the museums, the Museum d'Orsay, the Louvre, Pompidou, to bring my paintings into the museum and to put them alongside the great paintings that I was influenced by, which is kind of uh, a magical thing for me to do in a way, to see my work alongside a great painting and feel the connection to the past, because uh, it's, you know, sometimes you feel like we're really cut off from the past and want to be inspired from the great art that's come from the past. And, and so working with Holden, he photographed me doing that was a lot of fun and uh, to just to get close to the to the great movements of the past and to be inspired by them and to show respect to their work um, was just uh, a lot of fun to do. I ain't sold a painting in a while I made a few this world will never see While I search for my style Few people know what that pain would be. Well, starving artist, you got the right. Why don't you stay here all through the night? Well, starving artist, don't you cry, cause you'll be famous long after you die. You die Holding up a shiny mirror Showing us our dirty soul Could it be any clearer Than a fig leaf or a fishbowl And will you remind us Of what we all once were And is it behind us and could you give us the cure?